we have a little bit of time for questions. Um, I'm not in charge here, but if I'm not mistaken, uh, I left a little bit of time for questions. I'm happy to answer uh, about anything, legal issues, political issues, football. Yes, sir. I was interested in what you said that it's much more difficult to, to identify the enemy. Mm -hmm. But I wonder if there are some pretty obvious enemies in our society. And you mentioned one of them, welfare reform, where the Minnesota legislature, uh, given the, uh, the necessity of reacting to that punitive uh, federal bill, Right. Uh, the, the, the Minnesota legislature, the Minnesota Senate voted unanimously to pass the implementation of it. I'm wondering, uh, I'm wondering whether the same thing happened in the Illinois legislature, for example. I'm wondering whether or not there's an enemy in the growing gap in the distribution of wealth in our country. Yeah. And, and those things are identifiable. They're clearly uh, bringing our country to its knees. And you know, but in terms of the, of the, the moral climate, right. so I'm wondering what you want to talk about. Sure. No, I'll be happy. Uh, Good. Well, I think that that's an excellent question. Let me take it sort of twofold. Um, the first question, which is fairly specific, is about welfare reform. Um, as most of you know, I think in 1996, uh, the Republican Congress passed and President Clinton signed a welfare reform bill that essentially ended a 60-year entitlement to welfare. Um, I was a strong proponent of some reform of the welfare system. I would not probably have supported the federal system, uh, the federal bill that was passed. 